This game is T and is not suitable for kids. And this is where pride is your downfall. I idle around the room, a deeply worried feeling in my chest. As I go over all sorts of things in my head, I hear the sound of a knock. The door opens and I smell something nice. On the tray is stew and buttered bread. Ooh. She's holding onto the tray a bit shakily. It must be heavy for her. It's stew. It's gonna be good. Mei-chan behaves cheerfully until the very end. She's obviously making a show of being cheerful, so as to not make me worried about her. I can easily perceive the sadness she felt within just by looking at her face. Mei-chan skillfully prepares my meal. So Sunohara didn't come, huh? She jumps a little, making a small noise. She stops her hand right as she says this in a sad voice. She looks down, trying to keep up her act. Her shoulders look to be slightly trembling. She goes out of the room as if running away. In her eyes, I could see tears starting to well up. I have to do something. This is getting interesting. Wow, this is a much longer route than I thought. I wake up to a distant voice. Mei-chan's keeping her voice low as if she's having a private conversation. She talks plainly, yet somehow apologetically. After a short while, I finally realize she's talking on the phone. I wonder who she's talking to. She's probably her parents. Could it be? Aww. You're so considerate. Yeah, it looked like she was talking to her parents. When I try moving into the kitchen, her phone call is about to end. Oh, this poor girl. With the receiver still in hand, she lets out a deep sigh. It seems she doesn't have much time left here. During lunch break, I walk through the hallway alone. Sunohara still hasn't come yet, but it's just about time for him to get to school. I don't want to face him right now. He probably feels the same way. Guess I'll go buy some bread and eat it somewhere else. Is what I thought of doing when someone comes out to, calls out to me. It was someone walking in a group of three. I remember him being in my class when I was a first year. Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? He's still the same in that he wears his uniform somewhat casually. However, it's not like these guys are delinquents or anything. They just do the absolute minimum amount of studying and pretend they're good little kids in front of the teachers. The point is, they're guys I could hang out with. I still remember how I would get on well with them, so I'd exchange words with them once in a while. For now. Well, I don't mind. Maybe this kind of thing could be nice once in a while, too. This is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who they're talking about. Oh. This girl right here in the front. She's got the crazy eyes. Have I seen her before? I feel like Sunohara is always blocking her, the view of her. <laughs> However, I immediately regret my decision. I can't talk about with them about anything, and I feel extremely out of place. I'm even starting to get angry at myself for occasionally forcing a smile and laughing. Oh, that's not good. I slip out of there as soon as I can under the pretense of taking an afternoon nap. I sit down on a bench in the courtyard and do nothing. I'm a bit annoyed. Even if he's an idiot, I could at least tease him. Damn it. It's a little shocking that I'm thinking of helping Sunohara. But I do feel like I need to do something for Mei-chan as well. I wonder if there's anything I can do to help. Still, just what am I supposed to do? Why'd that guy like... Why'd that guy get like this in the first place? Naturally, part of it is because he's been going crazy ever since he's been with Sanai-san. However, I should try thinking about it from a more fundamental point of view. 
so I decided to think about it from step one. He'd entered this school under a sports recommendation. However, he became unable to participate in his usual club activities. His grades then rapidly dropped, and he stopped going to classes. And in the end, he became a habitual latecomer and even gave up on going to university. And then he started living his day-to-day -day life idly, doing nothing. It's actually completely the same for me, isn't it? Minus the sports scholarship. It's something I already knew, but once again, I feel at my wit's end. He truly is a hateful guy. So in the end, I was made to realize that he and I really are the same. Though that also means that if I look back at myself, I might figure out a way to understand him. I ruse, I ruse myself and put my brain to work. When did everything become such a hassle for me? I guess it was around the time I stopped my club activities. In that case, the same is probably true for Sunohara. However, there was one thing that was different between us. I will never again be able to do any proper physical activity. Starting the day my dad ruined my shoulder in our fight. However, he is different. Maybe things would change if he joined the soccer club again. I immediately drowned that out that thought along with a bitter smile. There's no way he could show his face there after all this time. He himself probably wouldn't agree to it either. Not to mention the soccer club would never accept him back to begin with. However, no matter how much I thought about this, that's the only thing that comes to mind. It seemed Mei-chan agreed with me. Yeah, probably. But he was kind of a tool even before that, though. Yeah, but it's too late for that now. <笑>今みたいなお兄ちゃんじゃ嫌です。うう。今みたいなお兄ちゃんじゃ。ダメだと思います。昔みたいに戻ってほしいです。はあ。あの今日の兄はどうでしたか。やっぱりその。Yeah
Snow Hara Yohei no Imoto de Mate Imas Snow Hara Snow Hara Snow Hara de Sonnen Noga. Do you know of any others? Hi, Snow Snow Hara de Sir. He gives a dry laugh for no reason other than to be creepy. That gesture annoys me somehow. This music is freaking bopping. それともあれか、岡崎。お前がそこを出したのか。岡崎さんはそんな人じゃありません。あの話を聞いてください。兄のことなんですけど、以前部に迷惑をかけてしまって、でも、もう十分に反省していまして、できれば。I don't see how this is going to work. I'd heard that this coach had a sharp tongue, and I knew that he had a tendency to quickly brand people as idiots. Even so, he was horribly pissing me off. He folds his arms and groans for a while. The smoke from his cigarette spreads, and Mei-chan gives a slight cough. あいつの不祥事のおかげで今の三年は新人戦出られなかったんだからな。いや。だけどその大体お前がそれを言ってどうする。本人がいいにこんか。人が私が連れてきます。絶対に連れてきます。謝罪もさせます。もう問題なんか
お兄ちゃんにもう一度チャンスをあげてもらえませんか頭を下げられてもな第一部の連中が認めんだろう砂原と一緒にプレイするなんて嫌がるんじゃないのか Yeah, he's got a point. Wakata, ga. Damate, ja, wakaranda, roga. Ie. So. Ja. Buno, hito, ga, mito, meta, ra. Ah. Buno, hito, ga, mito, meta, ra. Kantok, san, mo, mito, mete, kudasai, mas, ka? Kere, kara, buin, no, kata, ni, mo, hana, si, o, shite, mi, mas. Mo, si. Mei-chan. She lowers her head. She appeals to me with her eyes and starts walking away. She must be planning on going to the sports grounds now. I try to follow after her. What? Excuse me. I say without lowering my head and follow after Mei Chan. Mei Chan moves along the corridor silently yet quickly. Her eyes are slightly red and she's tightly clenching her fists. It seems she's trying to bear her frustration. Mei-chan, I softly hold on to her small clenched fist. I wanted to encourage her, even if just a little. You're going to the club members, aren't you? She tightly grabs my hands in return. There's nothing I can do here. So at the very least, I want to be beside her. We're at the door with a sign saying, Soccer Club. Mei-chan stands in front of it with a nervous look on her face. Are you okay? <sighs> she takes deep breaths for a short while and nods. As if trying to encourage herself, she tightly squeezes the handle of the door and then releases it. She puts her hand on the doorknob. The gazes of the half-naked guys in the club room all converge on her. The dusty air flows out of the room toward us. Uh, ano? Despite being overwhelmed by the intimidating air here, she musters her voice. And as she does so, a commotion arises within the clubroom. Along with teasing voices, the sound of a spiked shoe treading a path resounds from it within. A man with a large build, hair slightly bleached, steps out of the room. <laughs> His eyebrow grows up with a twitch. The same for the other club members. The club room starts getting boisterous again. Scratching his head, the captain starts talking. No, he was in the baseball club. <laughs> Did I stutter? <laughs> One of them fails to hold in his laughter. They're all whispering to each other, grinning. So
お兄ちゃんあーブラブ Cries of ridicule came from the clubroom. I launch a glare at them and they all fall silent. えっと、岡崎お前もそう思ってんの I'm just her escort. Still, I'd like you to hear this girl out. Please. お願いします。Next to me, May Chan lowers her head, flustered. 昨日入ってねえよ、おじぎだよな。もっと頭下げろって。ごめんなさい。お前じゃねえよ岡崎だって Oh really? All over there are people laughing making her out to be a fool Mei-chan lowers her gaze both from embarrassment and frustration Let's go Mei-chan I don't think Sunohara is gonna get his act straight anyway being with these guys But But Once again, she faces the claw members and deeply bows her head. Her sorrowful voice echoes throughout the room. However, It seems that too was a wasted effort. These guys are such tools. They each smirk at us. Seeing Mei Chan dumbfounded like that, they laugh even louder. ダメだっつーのキャプテンひでえおいおい泣いちまうぜお願いしますお願いします Even as she is publicly humiliated in front of so many people Despite even that, Mei-chan still continues raising her voice うまくいきませんでしたね However, Mei-chan stays firm Her eyes are inflamed and her shoulders are trembling. However, she definitely won't shed a tear. Until the very end, she'll go on with a smile. You actually plan on continuing this? It's not like she wasn't scared being in front of the soccer club members. And to those very club members, she frantically appealed like that. And she certainly didn't cry. All she did was lower her head. Just how much courage does this little girl have? Mei-chan is working this hard for you yet, Sunohara. Just what are you doing? I don't think even he knows the answer to that. Well, I think that's where I'm going to end the stream because, th oh wow, this route is way longer than I thought it was going to be. Holy cow. Sunohara siblings. All right, well, we did a lot today. Holy cow. <laughs> this route's definitely interesting. I won't lie about that. I really hope Sunohara gets some character development because, wow, he's just a miserable old tool in this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be streaming 1 p.m. EST on Twitch next week as well. Look forward to that, and have a great day, and God bless.